Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. 90 Day Fianza Before the 90 Day star, Paul Steele is shocking fans with his odd anniversary wish for estranged wife Kareen Martins. Paul, 40, and Kareen, 27, are one of the most controversial couples in the franchise. Paul and Kareen met online when they were introduced on 90 Day Fianza before the 90 Days Season 1. The Louisville man and the Brazilian woman, Kareen, who lived along the Amazon River with her family, struggled to communicate due to their language barrier. Despite their differences, they married in 2017 and welcomed their son Pierre in 2018. Kareen joined Paul in Kentucky in 2019 and their relationship issues have been escalating. Their second son, Ethan, was born in 2021 amid arguments about infidelity. In December 2021, a clip circulated online, showing Paul and Corrine physically fighting inside their home, which caused Paul and Corrine to lose custody of their sons. Ethan and Pierre are now with the same foster family. Paul and Corrine began fighting for the custody of their kids. However, in August 2023, Corrine claimed Paul had gone missing in Brazil. She even shared a cryptic post hinting Paul was dead. Paul returned to Instagram in September 2023, claiming he never went missing. Paul's anniversary wish for Corrine on November 3, 2023, was unusual. Paul started by sharing a screenshot of Corrine's on LifeIns page which showed a green dot next to her profile picture, suggesting she was active. Paul added a link to her page on his story. His next story contained a screenshot of Corrine's unfiltered page. It's a platform similar to On Life Ends, launched by 90 Day Fiancé cast member Stephanie Mato. Paul then proceeded to share photos from his and Corrine's November 3, 2017, wedding. Paul used the song, I Write Sins, Not Tragedies, in the story. He highlighted certain lyrics to Panic at the Disco 2005 song, as shared by Reddit user u slash fabulous underscore minute underscore 9929. Paul made sure the lyrics, what a beautiful wedding, says a bridesmaid to a waiter slash, and yes, but what a shame slash what a shame the poor groom's bride is a wa asterisk re were on the screen alongside three different photos from their wedding. Paul then shared three more pictures set to the tune of Bishop Bullwinkle's Hell to Da Na Na. His final story was another link to Corrine's On Lifen's page. Paul's stories make it look like he is not together with Corrine. However, fans suspect Paul's stories are desperate cries for attention. On the one hand, he shamed his wife by calling her a woe asterisk re, but on the other hand, he also promoted her adult modeling content by sharing multiple links. Paul and Corrine used to create of content together when they launched the account. Moreover, Paul's confusing antics also remind viewers of the time when Corrine posted about his disappearance and shared a video alluding to his death when he was very much alive. Paul's stories about Corrine could be him advertising her content so curious followers could subscribe. Paul confirmed he was officially back with 90 Day Fiance. Before the 90 Day star Corrine in April 2023. However, in October, Paul claimed he and Corrine were no longer together as she was dating several different men. Paul had decided to clear the air after a photo of Paul and Kareen at Disneyland had gone viral on the internet. At the same time, Paul also confirmed he was dating someone else. On October 8, 2023, Paul told his Instagram followers he was talking to an ingenious woman native of Amazonas. He maintained he wanted a peaceful friendship with Kareen because they were both tired of their obviously toxic incompatibility.